In January, in his first significant trade move, U.S. President Donald Trump authorized a tariff on the import of solar panels. One month later, his administration slapped a 30 percent tax on all foreign produced solar modules. Beijing wasn't singled out, but as the world's biggest maker of solar equipment, it was a clear target. Indeed, the majority of panels coming into the U.S. were coming from China, and they still are. So the immediate impact was we saw prices increase. John Smirnow is with the Solar Energy Industries Association in Washington. The group represents the interests of more than 1,000 U.S. solar firms. The negative impact has been a loss of 9,000 U.S. solar industry jobs and a loss of about $2.5 billion in investments in U.S. solar projects. That's large-scale utilities projects scrapped, but the impact may trickle down. Anyone who's a solar consumer or who uses electricity that's produced by solar is going to be adversely impacted. They may not be directly, but their energy costs, maybe they're not getting the savings that they could have otherwise. Whereas other tariffs this year claim to address, quote, national security or excessive dumping, the solar tariffs were solely centered on competitiveness. But some say tariffs are the wrong approach. There are a whole multitude of other solutions, other tools the U.S. government can draw upon other than tariffs that wouldn't have the adverse jobs impact that we've seen in the industry. An import licensing fee. The money would be used to support the industry. Now it's just a tax. The money goes into the general treasury and there's nothing that goes back to help the U.S. manufacturers uh, grow. Many in the industry saw the tariffs coming in one form or another, so they prepared. Some stocked up on cheap panels before the tax. Others have had to pass on the additional costs to their customers. But that may get tougher over time. The tariffs still have more than three years left. The industry is entrepreneurial. It's resilient. Supply chains redevelop. The industry gets back up on its feet and moves forward like we're doing now. Rowie Rettenberg, CGTN in Washington.